Hello and welcome to this truckelectrics.com product demonstration. Here we have product 380006, which are LED combination rear trailer lights. These are fully waterproof, 12 volt, come with a lifetime warranty. We'll be upgrading this conventional trailer board, which uh, uses normal 12 volt bulbs. Typically, the reason you might want to upgrade to LED lights is this is the sort of issue you have with conventional bulb holders. The uh, screws corrode, they're not particularly well sealed sometimes, and uh, you start to get dirt, water ingress, and uh, various corrosions on the contacts, so they're not reliable. We'll start by removing the trailer reflector. This is no longer required because the LED units have one built into the centre. It's then a simple matter of removing the various securing screws inside and outside to reveal the wiring. At this stage it's worth making a note of which colour wire goes to which bolt position as you cannot always guarantee the wiring is going to match up with the LED lights. The wiring colours for the LED trailer lights are as follows. White for earth, brown for tail light, red for stop and yellow for the indicator. The lights are attached with two permanently fixed studs on the rear of the units. They are then supplied with washer, spring washer and securing nut. Here we are drilling two holes for these studs and then marking up the centre hole for the wiring to run through. When doing this sort of work, a step cutter is a very handy tool for making neat holes. The wiring on these units is very good and comes with a little pigtail connector so it makes it much easier to run wires a short distance and then attach the light as you see fit. Now we we'll test fit the light again, it all seems to be in the right place. So now we're drilling through the original holes to the back of the board so that we can then enlarge the holes on the rear so we can put our securing washers and nuts on the back of the studs. Now we can rerun the wires and put the light in its final position. It all seems to seat up quite nicely. When securing the nuts and washers in place, it's very important not to over tighten as the studs are only secured in plastic. Now we can finish off the wiring. So first of all we'll grab our piggyback connector to reconnect that now we've run the wires and we can decide on the length to cut down the existing wiring. I've decided to solder and heat shrink my wires in place but obviously you can uh, use whatever your preference is be it crimps, chop blocks or solder like myself. When heat shrinking it's really advisable to use a heat gun but unfortunately on this occasion I only had a handy lighter but uh, as long as you don't singe the heat shrink you should be okay. And that's it. Connect the plug back together, tidy up the wiring a little bit and then we're ready to test. It's not always easy to show lights on camera but these are incredibly bright, easily as good as the original lights. But they have the added advantage of drawing a tiny amount of current. The brake light draws the most power at just over 0.15 of an amp. And here we have the final comparison. The indicators. The side lights. and the brake lights. Thank you for watching.